Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this channel, normally we talk about our financial journey to achieving FIRE. So normally we cover topics in budgeting, saving, side hustle, investment, and now full-time job <laughs> with kids in Sydney. If you are new to this channel, um, don't forget to subscribe, comment. Please be mindful though that this is based on our personal experience, um, based on our Journey. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So anything that we say about is not an advice in any way possible. Um, mm -hmm. Please do take your I guess financial, financial situation, situation into account because whatever yep. we do may not suitable for you. Whatever you do may not suitable for us. <laughs> but we just would like to share our journey. So in mm -hmm. today's video, we're going to talk about managing your money. Yeah. So, how we go about doing it yeah. get a beginning's guide of this mm -hmm. on how to manage your money so here yeah we go. Uh, well yeah how to manage your <laughs> money 101 first one of course the b word budgeting <laughs> yes uh, i'm sure a lot of people they don't know how to manage money they don't like or they don't know how to budget mm -hmm. but you cannot skip this step Yep. That's the most important step to manage your money. You don't have a budget, you're not managing your money. Your money is managing you. I remember your dad mentioned that to me. Did he? No, I mentioned it time being. What was it? Money equals power or something like that? Ah, uh, that will. Yeah. But he's not managing, he's just. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Something, <laughs> something along the line of. But then yes. you feel like, oh, money is power. Money but, equivalent to power. It's like, okay, yeah. then, so how does that work? So the more money you have, the more power you need. You have to not purchasing power, in yeah. Sense. Purchasing power, bargaining power. Mm -hmm. Like, you can just okay, I want this, I'll just pay it. But Correct. we're not at that lifestyle, no. but he's just saying in a general, yeah, general like theory. But still, if you don't know, if you don't have enough money, mm -hmm. you cannot manage your money. Mm -hmm. You don't have enough money to pay for your expenses, money is managing you and controlling your life. So you must have a budget. Yep, and yeah. how to actually take care of your money in order mm. for it to work for you instead of you working for your money. Yes, because yeah. we, we always said um, money should work for you, you shouldn't work for money. We work full time to mm -hmm. get the money and we distribute the money to work for us. That's it. So that, that's how we see it. We get like full time income, we put it in investment, mm -hmm. compound interest, 10 year plan, done. Yes, it's likely you ended up in debt if you don't know how to make a budget. I yeah. think so. Well, apparently, quite a lot of people are in debt. Not not currently, or maybe you had experience of owing a credit card debt, personal debt, car loan debt. We don't want those. We yeah. do not have any of those except a mortgage. Do we still? Yeah, yeah we, we have <laughs> mortgage in investment properties only. Mm -hmm. So in yeah. terms of, I guess, um, managing your money, there mm -hmm. are certain couple of things, um, like things that you need to, things that you need would be um, mm. obviously to understand where your money coming in and where your money going out as well. Yeah, how much so, do you spend yeah. for you to survive in this world? <laughs> your, yeah, like what is it? electricity, gas, rent, car, transportation, clothing, mm -hmm. bare minimum, that what you need to list out in your budget. It might be a bit hard and daunting in the beginning, but mm. over time, if you're doing it quite frequently, we just did our yearly, yeah, our monthly, monthly end. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for us, it took us a long time in the beginning. It took mm -hmm. us an hour or so uh, yeah. just to create, to figure out what do we need in this. Yeah, what data do we need to Correct. see a whole picture uh, of our net worth? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Um, and then for overall, I mean, it might get also going up and down in your life. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's like, ooh. You're not making it right. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to change your budget accordingly. Mm -hmm. Maybe last last month you went for a wedding. You spent so much on a holiday. All yep. those stuff may may just change your budget. That's it. So, and some people is never gonna be perfect. Mm -hmm. um, your budget will bound to be change yep. as you change as you're going through your life as mm -hmm. you're going to the stages of life. Um, for us, over time. Like even right now, mm. yeah, we budgeted for a car. Yep. And now we've got the car. We uh, haven't got the we car. We have. <laughs> we've been to have enough fun for the car. Yes. So now instead of that, we're going to deploy our income to mm. or our saving, let's say, mm -hmm. to go back to investment. Let's say. Yes. So, so it changes again, mm -hmm. and then maybe in next month something happens. So we yeah, have to budget for something else. Correct. So, yeah. Um. 
so setting up a budget can get really like going up and down and it's never be perfect no so um getting budget on track is never going to be in tra on track i think that's hard too like <laughs> the hardest thing is once you get used to spend a certain amount of money mm -hmm. and you have to cut down mm -hmm. let's say a lot it's hard you can't like, yeah. you know, for us i'll say if if i have to do it i'll cut down slowly bits and bits so let's say you do it um you want to cut down the budget for by by 500 dollars eventually a week okay that's yeah. a lot to cut but let's say you cut down 100 this week this month oh okay it's easy to handle and next week you cut the, uh, next month you cut down an additional hundred dollars and then you increase your 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 cut off yeah so to a certain enough point that you're comfortable then you'll get used to it but some people like myself i just get straight cold turkey, cold turkey. <laughs> i don't know how do i deal with him but i don't know just go with the flow but okay. mm, no <laughs> for me it's like yeah. right okay so do it now do it now i'm it's going like, to eat how do can, i do it beans, beans all the rice. cans are out you know i see yep. he's prepping his meal all the cans <laughs> i don't know why like i i buy salmon i buy avocado <laughs> i still buy it but i just don't eat out okay so, we don't eat out we just buy no, good food at home that's another mm -hmm. way for us for cutting in our budget you don't have to be cans beans and rice yes <laughs> anyway so. get back on track is hard but if you yeah. you do it slowly you will get used to it I, for me, I remember when I was in a credit card debt, mm. okay, and I, I was so focused, like, okay, so I've got this big lump sum of credit card debt. I think it was like $10,000. I can't remember what it was. Mm. But I remember I was working and working and working, you know, eat the bare minimum of my expenses and then maximize paying off that debt as quickly as possible. Mm. And it is a slog. I think it was like, it took me about a year or something yeah. just to pay off those debt. We just work, work, work over time, over mm. time, do this, do that, like do whatever it takes, work beyond you know, 10 hour, 15 hour days or something. Yeah. Um, but how does that feel once you've paid it off? Oh man, mm. it feels so good. It's, it's part soon, of the time. Yeah. <laughs> that journey it was so hard, mm. it was so brutal. But at the end of the life, the tunnel is like, oh, that so That is liberating. light of tunnel. Like, yeah. If you, if you have any debt, just have to do the calculation. Mm -hmm. Can I pay it faster? How much do I have to pay more to get it to get paid faster to be debt free? Yeah. So just for have me, to have a plan. Yeah. Mm. My plan was just just work, 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 work. I don't have time for anything else. Just mm. work, go home, sleep, get up, go to work, and go. keep on doing that as long as I can, um, you know, pay this off. off as quickly as possible. Oh, mm. It feels so good, especially when you have debt with a family member. Oh yeah. Um, I mentioned that to you in yeah. the story, mm -hmm. and like till this day, I feel a bit. Uh, I feel a bit. Still weird. owing. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I already paid it off, it feels better now that I already paid them off. Mm. But at the same time, it's like at one stage of my life, you mm -hmm. helped me a lot. Yeah. So, and then obviously, if you can also manage some sort of in your budget, um, I guess a saving area, mm -hmm. like a certain well, portion. I think the first you have to start up is the emergency fund. Mm -hmm. Like uh, three to six months that you have to save up if you suddenly someone is sick or you don't have your job anymore, you put it aside. Then that you don't touch that money. It is not your saving goal. It's just yep. your emergency fund. And once you have your emergency fund, you can save up for your need or not really need. It's your wants. For example, a holiday yep. or a camping trip. <laughs> for us, it's not. Okay. A camping trip, just like a, a less than a hundred dollars a night. <laughs> for us, anything that we do in here, we try not to do it with a credit. We mm. actually try to do it with our own personal cash or what we saved up on. If we can't afford it and we can't pay in cash, then um, don't buy it. We don't buy it. So, yeah. anyway, if you also are overwhelmed with how to do all of this thing, do talk to someone about this. Mm. Um, you know, where it, whether it's family, friends or someone that can understand where you're coming from, it might be hard to find that community. Or um, maybe hard to open up. Yeah, because yeah. you, you know, sometimes you feel embarrassed. I remember sitting here and I'm like, mm. I'm, I'm embarrassed here I am, um, mm. the head of the family and mm. I don't have my money in control. Mm. I had to sit down with you mm -hmm. about it. Um, mm. So if you have a partner, it might be a good idea to open it up. This is yeah. where you are. Yeah. Um, this is our, your concern. Mm -hmm. um, you know, find a community, um, whether it's in the internet, Facebook, Facebook. Just read yeah. people's comments, read people, whatever mm -hmm. they're doing. Sometimes they have a pay off the debt, they, mm -hmm. 
they can do it and you see oh they can pay off that big lump sum i'm sure i can do it too yeah. and see how people do little tricks on budgeting or savings yeah. as well we learn a lot from our social media as mm -hmm. well um, you know, take the good points and mm. you know, leave the bad points. There are bound to be other people out there that just make fun out of it. Mm. Um, but if you take it seriously, you'd be amazed where you're going to get to. Yeah. So, anyway, that's just our two cents, guys, in terms of um, managing I guess, your money 101. <laughs> if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe, comment. See you next time. Bye. Bye.